What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Today we got Miss Kiana motherfucking J. All right. We're going to talk about Ray So Wavy. Now, this is a Q&A that she just recently posted called I'm Dating a Girl Now, dot, dot, dot. Okay, updated Q&A. We already know that Miss Kiana J, M is Ray So Wavy, have got a little flirtatious. I already know they baby turned around and let me see that sexy body go bum, bum, bum. I already know it has went down in the bedroom probably several times, okay? They both seem like freaks and they both seem like they just there for a good time, okay? But anyway... Before we get into this video, make sure that you do like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend that I ain't your mom, today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. I don't know the exact time stamps, so I'm going to be skimming through this video. So forgive me. I'm trying to find the T, okay? So let's get it. So that's definitely coming. Someone said, how does two women have a baby? Because Ray said that she wants to have a baby. So I know it's a lot of young, I have a lot of young supporters, so you guys don't understand how two women have a baby. If two women are together, it is very possible that they can have a baby. Of course. It's very possible as man and woman. Of woman course. and woman can have a baby, even man and man. Now, now I will say that it's for the free. If you're a man and woman, you got it good, okay? Because you got it for the free. One thing I can say, when two people of the same sex actually decide to have a baby that's what it is it's a decision to have a baby where you can have a you can make a decision as you know a heterosexual couple but a lot of the times people feel like they don't have a choice okay because when you're ha when you're in a relationship what if you don't have which what if you don't want to have a kid all right but y'all's relations even if you're staying protected and stuff you still have that kid right we don't have that issue when it comes to two girls or two men right we don't have that worry we don't have that issue so when it comes down to having a child we actually have a decision which is very much a great thing so it's pros and cons on both okay because also i feel like if you're in a heterosexual relationship whether or not you're ready okay whether or not you're in a relationship or not okay you can still have the possibility of having a child. And it's a lot easier to have a child, all right? Whether you like it or not, you might have a child. And sometimes I feel like, when is the right time to have a baby, okay? When is the right time to have a baby? Sometimes a baby just comes, all right? And that never happens in same-sex couple relationships. A baby's just not going to pop up out of nowhere. All right. And sometimes you want that element of surprise. It would be cool to have that element of surprise sometimes to where it's like, damn, we weren't expecting this. But look, um, no better time than now. But we don't have that experience. So there's pros and cons on every uh, on each side. But I will say, man, there's plenty of ways for us to get pregnant, too. Sometimes we get pregnant on the first time. Um, I know people have used turkey basters. OK, so that's for the free, too. Get a turkey baster, get a nigga who, you know what I'm saying, maybe a, no, no, I wouldn't say a family member, but, you know, get somebody, well, sometimes a family member, a cousin or whatever, or get somebody who wants to donate their sperm, that's for the free free, okay, or you can take a different approach, get artificially inseminated, there's so many other ways that you can get pregnant with same-sex couples, okay? In vitro. Um, it, man and man, a man and a man having a baby is completely different than a woman and woman having a baby, and I'm about to explain it now. So you guys know, man and woman, they have sex, and the woman gets pregnant, boom, baby, that's the norm, that's what everyone's used to. But when you like women, and you guys are really, like, into it or whatever, you guys want to start a family, one of those women will, um, get, I don't know what it's called, when you get sperm put into you, surrogate, I don't know. But that's how women will get pregnant if they're dating another woman. It's a process, you get the sperm put inside you, the sperm goes to your egg, and boom, one of the women have a baby. Now with men, they adopt a child or they have a surrogate mother. That's how that works. Or even with women, two women, if both the women don't want to actually push a baby out or anything like that, they will have a surrogate mother. So it is definitely very possible that a woman and woman... You know what? I never thought about two guys having a baby. That's interesting. I never thought like, yeah, because one of the guys can't have, neither of the guys can have a baby. So that's a really good point, Kiana. I never really, it never really registered in my mind how two guys would have a kid. That's true though. They either adopt or they get a surrogate mother. Damn, that's crazy. You can have a baby. 
If you feel the move wow. to Houston was a good decision, would you move back to LA? Now, I never ever lived in LA a day in my life. I am from California, but I'm from the Bay Area. If you're not familiar with that, the Bay Area is Bay. North, Northern California, and LA is Southern California. They're many, many hours it's apart. Open, baby. Literally two different worlds. But I never lived in LA a day in my life. Um, so with that being said, do I feel like Houston was a good move? I want to say yes, somewhat. Like 70% of me yes, 30% no. I have found myself very depressed. Mm. Um, if you are subscribed to my really? channel, you see that I really had a really bad mental breakdown. Oh, wow. But um, what's up? I have been somewhat depressed because it's like very different. I, you guys, I got totally lost because Chaz called me. But moral of the story is, I just have to get used to it. It's gonna take some time getting used to. I miss my friends out in Atlanta. You know, mm -hmm. I was really getting used to Atlanta. I was really just getting my feet wet out there and mm -hmm. really getting used to it out there. So moving here. I don't know. It makes me miss different. Atlanta a lot because Atlanta was completely different, and I feel like my heart belongs in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, after a year, I I do plan on moving back to Atlanta. Mm. I don't plan on staying in Houston. Oh, you wow. and Ray okay. date now. It's a difference from dating That's what we wanna and know. being in a relationship. That is so true. People get it mixed up, man. Just because I'm dating you doesn't mean that I'm just dating you. Okay. Dating means I'm getting to know you. We having a good time. We going on dates. Okay. We spending time together. All right, you coming over, I'm coming over. You know, when I'm your, in your city, we doing this, we doing that, we going here, we going there. But it doesn't mean that I am in a relationship with you. It means I'm dating you, okay? So that's where cer certain rules and regulations, certain conversations must be had. Look, are we just dating? We dating exclusively? Like, what's the deal here, okay? And I don't really want to know what she has to say about rape. Um, I don't want to come out and say anything just yet. I'd rather, if we're, mm. me and her are going to say anything, I'd rather just um, do it together. Okay. Because, okay. I don't know, I'd rather I just do it together. You. But me and Ray, it's clear that we are talking mm -hmm. tough um, mm -hmm. on a serious level. Well, you need to leave Prime ass alone then, nigga. You need to leave prime ass alone then, nigga, okay? Point blank, period. Because ain't nothing worse than dealing with a female who possibly is still getting dick on the side. I'm just saying, okay? And this is no shade to Kiana at all. I'm just going back to my younger self, thinking about the women that I have dated, bisexual women, and women who still like niggas and shit like that, bruh. It's always in the back of my mind, like, well, is you getting some peen peen on the side? Or or you always got to worry about that shit, okay? So, I'm just saying, man. Get into something real with Ray. Don't have her thinking that you might be out there doing something with prime ass, okay? You need to leave that nigga in the past if that's what you're going to do and you're going to pursue this. Um, that's how I feel. Of course, she's going to do what the fuck she want to do. But look, um... If she wants something real with Ray, she's going to have to, you know what I'm saying, cut all ties with everybody else, and she's going to have to be just about Ray. Just like with anybody, just like with any situation, but I feel like it's that much more um, difficult for lesbians, like straight lesbians, like I know straight lesbians, what, that was an oxymoron. Lesbians, like real life lesbians, sometimes it's difficult to trust somebody who's bisexual okay especially if you still have feelings for an ex or whatever the case and i always see whenever prime and kiana link up it's always vibes okay it's always vibes and we all know what type of person prime is he gonna get that girl to the motherfucking crib and it is what it is okay so i'm just saying hopefully she heals from what she went through with prime hopefully she puts that chapter behind her closes that chapter before she pursues anything serious with ray or if they just end up just dating um stay friends or whatever the case may be that's gonna be that all right but um yeah that's my only fear for for ray in this situation is you know i don't know man i don't know every time her and prime link up it seems like to be a good time okay so i don't know y'all leave me a comment down below let me know how you guys think that's gonna go but I do see the connection between them two. It does seem like Kiana really fucks with Ray. And Ray definitely fucks with Kiana, okay? So I feel like at the end of the day, Kiana better come with it, okay? Make Ray feel secure with moving forward if that's what they both want to do. We don't even know if that's what they want to do at this point, okay? But y'all already know I will be reacting to everything unfolding 
Y'all already know. All you got to do is click on the Diamond Light 2.0 and you will see exactly what you want to see on this channel. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rather come out with that with her. You know? So, yeah. That's my baby. Do you prefer fems or studs? Mm, um, that's my baby. I prefer fems. You guys know I am bisexual. I prefer fems hmm. when it comes to the gay community. That's why you was trying to film uh, my nigga out, okay? She was like, you need to wear this. She would be a badass bitch in it. And no, nigga. Okay, that's a whole motherfucking stud, bro. You cannot fem her out. Okay, maybe fem for a day, baby. But you're not finna fem her out for life, okay? Anyway, I think that Kiana J and Ray should do a switching roles video let me know in the comment section down below if you guys uh, if you guys think that they should do that but i think kiana should be the stud ray should be the film just for a day for 24 hours challenge that shit would be very entertaining i think but ray little miss ray <laughs> is a stud and i think really like her so it just depends on the person she's making me view things a lot differently now i like studs it just depends that's all it just depends i like her so hey would you ever date a stud and take them seriously i always said i would not date a girl or take her seriously you guys know that but like i said things change next question mm. when are you putting out more music uh well, that is that, man. Hey, y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about Miss Ray So Wavy and Miss Kiana J getting together. Do y'all ship it? I know a lot of you guys are going to say y'all ship it. But look, I ship anything that is supposed to be, all right? So if they are supposed to get together, if they get together, I ship it. If they don't, I ship their friendship, all right? I just want everybody to be happy at the end of the day. That's the goal, all right? That's the goal. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you watching, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit-ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. Here we out.